Welcome to the 107th Ravens, pilot. I'm Lieutenant Samza, squadron leader. As you know, the Aquitaine is now en route to the Gamma Draconis system. The details of the situation there have been classified at the highest level, so I'm as much in the dark as you are. The Admiral will brief the crew when we reach 3rd Fleet Headquarters in Capella. The 107th is a heavy assault squadron, so our fighter of choice is the Hercules Mark II. Implementing advances in fusion drive technology, the Mark II improves the assault fighter's speed and maneuverability without sacrificing loadout. The Herc has only two missile banks, but its ordnance capacity is greater than the Myrmidons. The original Herc won the Great War, so we're proud to carry on the tradition. I recommend that you review the Herc II training modules before the Aquitaine arrives in Capella. These modules review advanced tactics, such as countermeasures and energy management. The Herc II is slower than the Myrmidon you've been flying with the 53rd, so learn how to evade missiles and equalize shields. These skills will help you push your fighter to the limits, master them, and the life you save may be your own. According to your file, you are now authorized to use the GTW-5A Prometheus R, the GTM-19 Harpoon, and the GTM-4 Hornet missile. The Prometheus R is a retrofit of a cannon developed during the Great War. After the Alliance lost contact with Earth, we lacked materials required for mass production. So engineers developed this retrofit version. The Prometheus packs a bigger wallop than the Subak HL-7, but it will drain your power reserves with extended use. The Harpoon and the Hornet are both aspect-seeking missiles. While the Harpoon fires individual warheads, the Hornet launches a swarm of four projectiles, eight if you're in double fire mode. The training modules cover the proper technique for firing aspect-seeking missiles, so be sure to review that section carefully. That's all for now, pilot. The Aquitaine will arrive in Capella in four hours. To the officers and crew of the GTD Aquitaine, this is Admiral Petrov. At 0115 hours, we received a transmission from the 3rd Fleet Headquarters. A sheet and cruiser, the three fighter wings ambushed and destroyed the GTC Vigilant as it patrolled the Gamma Draconis jump node in the Capella system. Command deployed the GTD Carthage and GDC Dashor, though these vessels neutralized the immediate threat. All Allied units now in a state of enhanced vigilance. Command has ordered the Aquitaine to spearhead the operation in Gamma Draconis as we investigate the origin and extent of this incursion. Gamma Draconis is a remote, uninhabited system discovered shortly before the outbreak of the Great War. The system has no planets, no viable resources. GTSC Ericsson visited the system 15 years ago and reported nothing out of the ordinary. Recon flights in Gamma Draconis detected activity near an uncharted jump node. Closer examination has revealed this node is not a natural phenomenon. A massive subspace portal of unknown origin. We do not know why the Ericsson failed to detect the portal when it last visited the system. This device may have been inactive and therefore invisible to long-range sensors, or it may be of recent construction. The Sheevan vessels that destroyed the vigilant were not of any class encountered in the Great War. The light cruiser designated Rakshasa and the fighters designated Mara have been added to your onboard database. This is our first contact with this species in over three decades. Our objectives are clear. We must secure Gamma Draconis. We'll face annihilation a second time. Command, this is Alpha 2. We're in. I've got a visual on the subspace portal. Breaking to attack. How many hostiles in sensor range? One wing of Maras closing in fast. The behemoth is 2.5 clicks out. Two freighters and a half a dozen cargo units are in the depot area. Destroy those fighters. The Shivas will send reinforcements, so let's secure this area as quickly as possible. The Mara 
doors are too fast. I can't get a lock. Breaking to attack. I've never seen anything like it. And these spiders are unbelievable. Take him down. Yes, sir. We'll take him down. We've got a new fighter class 
base here. Designation Astaroth. Yes, sir. We'll take him down. Take evasive action, pilot. Help is on the way. Yes, sir. We'll take him down. The Carthage and Dashor will emerge from subspace momentarily. Stand by. Delta Wing, now in position. Rearming sequence aborted. You survived your first sortie against the Shivans. Though we had only a small opposing force to contend with, survival is half the battle. The COs of both the Carthage and Dashor commend our squadron for the outstanding cover we provided. The Sheevan Kane cruiser and its complement of fighters might have destroyed these vessels had we not intervened. Well done, pilot. A joint Terran Vasudan task force under the direction of Dr. Mina Hargrove is now studying the subspace portal. We expect a preliminary report in a few hours. For preserving
serving the systems of the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance from Shivan Invasion, you are hereby awarded the Allied Defense Citation. Thank you.